In this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create a Microsoft Teams meeting app and install it into a new meeting, and then we're going to interact with it before the meeting starts. So this app is going to be used to organize and manage a product team's stand-up presentations uh, for the rest of the team. Now, deploying or develop, developing Microsoft Teams apps requires a Microsoft 365 tenant, Microsoft Teams configured for development, and the necessary tools installed on your workstation. And I've already done that. I've already got Node installed. I've got the Gulp CLI installed, Yeoman installed, and the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams installed, um, as well as VS Code. Now we can go about creating our Microsoft Teams app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the console. Now let's go ahead and create our Microsoft Teams app. And I'm gonna do that by executing Yo Teams. And this is going to fire off the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams. So it's going to ask us what the name of our solution is. And I'll just call this the Learn MS Teams Meetings Apps. Uh, where do I want to put the files? We'll put it in our current folder. Um, what is the title of our app? We're going to call this our Stand Up Agenda. The company name, we'll call ourselves Contoso. And we're going to choose a manifest version 1.11. We want a more recent version that's available at the time of the recording um, that supports meeting apps. Now it's going to ask us if we want to do quick scaffolding. I'll go ahead and say yes. And we want to create a tab. So I'm not going to choose any of the other options here. I'm just going to leave tab as the one selected. It's going to ask us for the URL of where to host the solution. This doesn't really matter right now. I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. Um, I can always change this later. Uh, do we want to show a loading indicator? I'll just choose the default of no. Uh, what is the tab's name? I'll just leave the default name here of the stand up. We'll just say stand up. Stand up agenda. Uh, this is going to be a configurable tab. Um, it's going to be available in a group chat so we can turn off team and leave group chat. I'm doing that by hitting the space bar on these options. So I'll choose group, group chat. Um, does the app require single sign-on support? Yes, it does. Um, what is the ID of the app? I'm just going to choose the default options here because I'm going to show you what will change that when we get to the code in just a moment. And then do we want this available to be want this uh, tab to be available in SharePoint Online? And I'll just choose no. So I'm going to let VS Code or the Yeoman Generator go ahead and uh, create uh, our uh, scaffold up the project and then run npm install. Uh, to download all of the dependencies that our project needs. So let's go ahead and let's open up the, uh, the, the project that was just created. All right, so we've opened up our project here in VS Code. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go over to this environment uh, uh, file that contains all the environment variables that are going to be used by this project. So there's a couple of properties that were set from the file creation process. So the public host name um, is the fully qualified URL that excluding the protocol that I specified where the app would be hosted. The application ID is the unique ID of the Microsoft Teams app. And the Microsoft app ID and tab app ID is my Azure AD application or the client ID that I specified. And the tab app URI is the Azure AD application ID URI that I specified. Now the prefix of the last two items in this list that I just went through is generated using the name of the tab that I specified during the project creation process. So here, this Microsoft Teams meeting apps, that's the name of our solution. Now remember, every time that Ingrok starts, it generates a new dynamic subdomain for the URL. So if I have to restart Ingrok, I'm gonna need to repackage and update update my app in Microsoft Teams so that the, the installed app is aware of our new URL. So the optional license version of Ingrok that I've already talked about allows us to define and reuse the same subdomain. So let's go make a few changes to some of these uh, environment variables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the client ID or the app ID for our app and copy that and I'm going to put that where our uh, app ID is. And then I'm also going to use that for our app ID that you see listed here for the tab. 
And it's also gonna be the one that's listed in our app ID URI because this is gonna be the full URL of the, um, the endpoint of our app, which we defined in the expose an API section. Um, the other thing I need is the ID of the, or the security uh, key, the secret for our app. So I'll put that here in our app password. And I'm gonna create a new option here for my tenant ID as well, because we're gonna need that uh, as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our tenant ID to our project as well. So I wanna make sure that the ID that's listed in the tab ID or the tab app ID property is gonna match the value in the Microsoft app ID property, which it does. And the full tab app URI matches the Azure AD app URI I specified. So in this case here, this value here also needs to be changed to the URL that we use. So which is gonna be ingrok.io. And again, I'm using my, my name here because I have a reserved one. So I'm gonna change that on both of these uh, values here to make my life a little bit easier. I'm also gonna specify the subdomain. It's also gonna be uh, mine uh, as well. So I'll save that here. So the authentication token uh, for ingrok I'm not gonna set that here. I actually have that set in a global space um, on my environment. And the ingrok documentation explains um, how that works so that I can use this uh, subdomain that I'm telling it that I wanna use. Okay, now, before working on the code for the project, I need to make some changes to the Microsoft Teams app manifest. These changes are necessary to enable our app to interact with meetings. So I'm gonna find the manifest.json file we see listed here. And in the configurable tabs section, scroll down a little bit, we can see that I've got group chat uh, is already listed here. So what I wanna do with the group chat, it, or after the group chat, is I wanna add in a list, uh, a context. And in this list, I wanna have the meeting uh, chat tab. I wanna have the details tab. I wanna have the side panel and I wanna have the stage. So these are the three different contexts where my app can run. And then the meeting surfaces, I also wanna list the side panel and the stage. 